Holiday weekend is almost here and whether you're traveling or staying home, doctors recommend that you take a COVID test before any family gatherings. And a lot of you may be searching maybe for a last minute appointment at a testing site or one of those at home test kits in stores. Well, we sent Team 12's William Pitts to see what's available. All right, store number one. See if they have any COVID tests. Inside the store, an empty shelf. Prices at about $23, $125 at the highest, but none available. Store number two. We've struck out so far. Let's see if this one's any better. Store two, another drugstore. This one with boxes of tests at the pharmacy check stand. No luck there either. Fewer tests available and also just empty boxes. It was like that at store after store. Not looking good so far. We hit up the big chain drug stores and some big box stores. Strike it out again. Finally, we found a single shelf of COVID tests in Central Phoenix. Success. We finally found a place that was selling COVID tests. They are a brand though that I have never heard of, but they had some. They were 16 bucks a pop. There are lots of kinds of COVID tests with different degrees of accuracy. These aren't the worst, but they're not the best either. People nationwide are struggling to find COVID tests ahead of the holidays. Huge lines in New York City, Boston, North Carolina. It's just to confirm because Christmas is around the corner. I have checked so many places and it's just so hard to find. Sure more, but we'll take what we can get at this point. The federal government plans to mail out 500 million tests to anyone who wants them. That, along with getting vaccinated, is part of the president's new phase of the fight against Delta and Omicron. We also have more tools than we ever had before. We're ready. We'll get through this. After that one stroke of luck, we kept striking out. One store had empty shelves, but had cards for the $125 version to take to the pharmacy. That was the eighth store that we've hit up. And no COVID tests in that one either. In the end, we went all over the valley, and out of those eight stores, only one had tests on the shelf. But there's good news. There are lots of COVID appointments available online for drive-through testing. William Pitts, 12 News.